Hello, and thank you very much for watching. It's a rolling start, and oh, geez. Starting me on a on a turn. What the crap is that? My name is Merganator, and this is the Forza RC Week 3. Driving the Ford GT Le Mans, and I am in the same lobby as Super GT. Oh, my God. I'm trying not to fanboy, and I also don't want to wreck into him. Oh, fuck. That would be terrible if I ended up in one of his videos and I just smashed into him. I would look like a dick. But we're around probably the worst track possible for an online multiplayer league match. Going around uh, the Top Gear test track. It's a figure eight, and it's freaking terrible. I hate this track. Why? Why are we on this one? This is my very first race. Um, I'm using... No, on this race, I'm using just manual, uh, no traction control. And I will say, after probably about three and a half hours of racing... I I like traction control. It makes the car a little bit more fun because it is R class. I usually prefer my R class. Oh, Super GT got bumped and I bumped into him and he hit somebody else. Where did he go? I'm so sorry, Super. Oh, there he is. He's up front. Okay, good. I didn't ruin his race. Wonderful. Woo. I thought I was gonna be in his uh, video for idiot and JSR Devon's idiot of the week. I'm so glad that race is over because I hit the tire barrier and pretty much got last. Next up, we have Monza Full, and this is the one with the little, uh, the little turn up here, the controversial turn that everyone likes to cut. I'm gonna kind of clamor in here, and then uh, Sir Dickhead tries to go in for a nice, uh, nice. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He was going perpendicular compared to everybody else on the turn. So I'm up into 13th all as well. But anyways, like I was saying, um, I like having traction control on. Uh, the manual with clutch doesn't really give any extra benefits. You can use manual with traction control, and that is probably the best setup. I'd say shift between, uh, oh, 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 geez. Racing accident. Racing accident. I didn't mean to hit him. I'm sorry. And I ended up finishing 10th in Monza. Now, Brands Hatch. This is the Brands Indy circuit, so, you know, eight laps around a very small little wiener-looking looking track. And uh, perfect for 22 cars that go really, really fast, right? Right. So, uh, yeah. Go around turn one, not too bad. I guess that would technically be turn three or two. Here's turn three. Just kind of tucking in behind 10th place here. And, oh, not paying attention. Got some people going wise, people bumping, trying not to make contact, going in on their... Uh, Inside or outside? They're in the grass. It's kind of hard to, to tell. And I end up finishing in ninth place on the end of lap one, but I stick right here for the majority of it. And this is where tragedy strikes. Dun dun dun! We got that uh, R.I.P. S.T.I. racing guy kind of just being slow all over the place. I tried to take his inside, and I made an error. That was my fault. He was a little slow, but that was mainly my fault. And I come to a, pretty much a stop to let him pass. But I think at this point, he's just probably like, you know what, fuck it. And I try waiting for him to let him have his spot back, even though I'm losing like 10 spots at this point. He just backs out. So I end up finishing this race in 17th place as a result. Now, for the final clip, we are at Watkins Glen. Super GT is right next to me in sixth place. Oh man, God, I'm so nervous. I'm anxious. What am I going to do? I just got to gotta drive straight. Got to be careful. Be careful. Oh, I kind of went a little wide there. And three cars passed me. Ah, oh, God damn it. Well, at least I'm not hitting him, right? At least I'm... Oh, God. Why do I get so nervous when I race next to him? It's ridiculous. He's just a normal guy. He's just a normal guy who races a video game like everyone else. Does anybody else get like that? <laughs> you know, when I race with Seven Motorsport or, or uh, Wild Wind 7 or Super GT or TUS Force 1, I kind of just play like a shithead. I play like a noob. And as a result, I always end up fucking up. I will say, I think I had one incredible race with Seven Motorsport. I've actually had a lot of incredible races with Seven Motorsport. I wish I was in his league still because we always have a lot of fun together. So Seven, you have to get up to Pinnacle or I need to just start wrecking people and get down to Elite. Um, but I prefer you come up to Pinnacle because all the good YouTubers are up here. We need Couch Reaper up here too. All of you elite YouTubers need to get up to Pinnacle. Come on, goddammit, you can do it. You can do it this week. I want you to get all of the wins. I want you to get all of the points. And then 
you can enjoy a nice NASCAR DLC as a result. Seventh place tries to go on the inside of me right here, but to no avail. I give him room and I just have the better line in. I take this turn like shit. I just do. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm terrible. This is probably the worst turn for me in the game. That left-hander right there. I just have a hard time. Like, I am going to cut to the end of this race here in a moment, but I'm in sixth place. I end up getting into fifth place, so I'm thinking, hell yeah, I'm going to have a top five finish. And that turn for the next three laps, I choke on it and end up back in eighth place. So I finished the race in eighth place. Super GT actually getting, get, got second place. He probably could have got first, but the guy in first was incredibly fast. Super GT ended up having like five wins in a row. He was on a streak. And I think this eighth place finish was probably my best of this session. So thank you for watching. I love this car, love this lobby, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.